But that's you part know. and parcel of the psychological battle, Kevin. No. When you do that with footballers, like he said about Sheffield United, when you do things like that about a man like Paul McGrath, I've kept really, really quiet. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. He went down in my estimation when he said that. We have not responded to that, but I'll tell you what. And I can tell you now, if you're watching, we're still fighting for this title. And he's got to go to Manchester City next week and get something. And, and I'll tell you what, I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Hello and welcome back to the Championship Manager Lockdown Challenge and I'm going to jump straight in today. First of all, um, had to do that little skit there. We, As you can see, we're the 24th of April, we've got three games left of the season and there's parallels with Kevin Keegan. We've thrown away a bit of a lead. Um, we're still in a title race. We've got Wimbledon who are chasing us, breathing down our necks. Last game of the season, we had to chuck that Kevin Keegan skit in. Um, not the best produced i literally knocked it up in about five minutes on my mobile phone um and then editing it wasn't ideal because it the file format that my phone kicked it out at didn't work with um my, my editing software so i had to just sort of re record the screen of, of it really so it didn't come out the best so not ideal but do you know what we're not high high stakes hollywood you know standard just yet so it'll do it'll do for now um and also, sorry for the abrupt end to the last episode. I, I had to just quickly get off the episode. There was something going on outside. I had to just end it. Um, there was a bit, a bit, a bit of grief outside, so I had to attend to it and go and step in. But that's why I had to just sort of hope the end, the episode ended. Get out of there as soon as quickly. Get out of dodge. Um, and uh, if you're new here, please do drop a like on the on the on the video drop a sub to the channel as well i'm hoping to do a few more if you know if you like those skits let me know in the comments down below i'm hoping to be able to do a couple more of those and i did actually mean to open this video on the league table sort of to demonstrate what we were talking about so there we are look at that we've scored more goals we've conceded more goals we're on the same points we have secured um promotion we had i mean during this during this little gap we secured a playoff spot and then obviously a promotion spot um, Everton kind of fell away. They're ten points behind now. There's what is there to play for? Nine points, I think. So yeah, literally by points just happened. And the playoffs probably up up until Tranmere are the only ones that really look at risk of maybe falling out of that. But yeah, so we both we, both us and Foot Wimbledon have dropped points in this um, in this in this run. Uh, so let's have a look at the fixtures. Um, I can't remember where we picked up. I think we started. Around about Northampton, wasn't it? I think, yeah. Northampton, we, we came back. So we got a good 1-0 win there. Um, Centurion getting the goal. I think we probably should have had more. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised they didn't get one goal there, two shots there. But this game was what secured the playoff spot. We then went to Stockport. And, I mean, they... I mean, we were lucky to get 4-3 free, out of this, to be honest. Uh, we went 1-0 up. They threw uh, Zahovic. who had a great game. Um, they went one all. Uh, and then 2-1 from nothing against the run of play. We were still pushing for a goal, but they just scored another one. Uh, and then 3-1 straight after half-time. Andy Much getting a hat-trick. Um, he actually had another goal to get the hat-trick before that dis disallowed, but he still went ahead about a minute later and got it anyway. Netherland pulled one back. Then Zahovic made it back to 3 all, uh, And then, unfortunately, Much got his hat-trick in the end. He, he got the fourth goal uh, to make it 4-3, and I think it was quite late as well. Um, 88th minute yeah so it was really disappointing not to hang on I mean when I looked at the stats we didn't deserve the free but I mean the first half we, we've I'd say on performance we very much did um, a lot of our shots a lot of those were in the first half really despite the fact that a couple of the goals were in the second half um, during this sort of time as well Darren Anderson left to go to Manchester United so that's another England player gone uh, we tried to sign a few others they all rejected I went through the whole squad and just tried to sign anyone who's available Anyone who was rejected, or, or like I say, they weren't available. Um, and the window has now subsequently closed, so it, we are going to fail that part of the challenge, unfortunately. I'm guessing that was possibly always the intention. It's a hard one to attain because, like I say, unless you just get a bit lucky and someone comes available. But we did make a signing. We, As you can see, we've got Alex Notman from Manchester United, 1.7 million. He's done okay. Uh, that was, I think, to counteract a long-term injury. I think it was Tomlinson, but he has since come back. Um, and I think Twist picked up another one as well. He's working his way back in two. Uh, we then went on to face Reading in the league, which we got back on track. A lovely 4-0 win. 
Uh, if we look at the incidents here, so Notman gave us an early lead with his first goal for the club. Bacero got another early settler to make it 2-0. They were bottom actually, Reading, just to, just to say. Um, and then Neverland got his two two goals, and he's currently on 41 in 49 appearances with 21 assists. He has had an absolutely barnstorming season. And I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I've actually kind of ruined things getting him this soon because it's going to probably mean I don't tick off something down the line. <laughs> Um, you can probably work out what that means, but we'll, we'll get into that probably at the end of this episode because we're going to be having a look at... I don't know if we're going to do it in this episode. I'm, I'm going to do another recap episode after this one to recap the season, have a look around you know, the timeline again. Um, so we'll do that and uh, yeah, we'll, I might introduce you know the next challenge at that point maybe. Um, we then played Wolves and real bottle job going on here. Uh, so they got Severo Milosevic up front, so that's a big signing for them. But we went 1-0 down against the run of play um, in this game. And then Mike Conroy come off the bench just after the hour uh, to uh, equalise for us. It, well, no, sorry, he actually got a goal disallowed. But then, like, again, a minute later, he got he got his goal anyway. Uh, but then Baccaro gets an own goal in the 82nd minute and we weren't able to rally and get back. We deserved at least a draw out of that game. We absolutely battered them. Possession, shots, maybe not as many on target percentage-wise as you'd like. But... <clears throat> We deserve a bit more out of that game, and that probably would have made this run in a little bit more calmer. We'll have a look at Wimbledon's little run in over the same sort of period as well in a minute, maybe. We then played Wigan, but we got back on track. That's what we seem to do. We seem to lose, and then we get back on track quite well. So Zahovic with two goals in this one, and then Tomlinson rounded it off at three, to 3-0, three and I think that was a late-ish one. Yeah, just 20 minutes to go, but they never really threatened us. Four shots, one goal. You did, again, you'd expect maybe one goal out of that just because... Um, reasons and then Sheffield United gave us a real um, tough game here not helped by the fact that Chris Lachetti got sent off after 10 minutes but that didn't stop us really so we took the lead through Neverland on four minutes um, just before um, Lachetti got sent off and then literally straight after he got sent off Neverland went up the other end and scored they did pull one back a little bit against the run of play at the time despite the fact we were down to 10 men we were still on the ascendancy a little bit before Neverland completed his hat-trick to make it 3-1 before they did get a late one, well, late-ish one through Justin Walker, who's quite a good player on CMO 102, actually, as it goes. Um, and we held out for a 3-2 win. They did have a late charge, and they had lots of shots. A lot of these shots were towards the last 10 minutes, and I was thinking, oh, they're, gonna, they're, they're probably going to equalise, and they're probably going to take the lead. But we did hold out. Um, that game obviously secured us the top two spot, and we got instantly paid out £5 million in prize money, which I thought was a little bit strange, because... I would have thought there'd be varying prize money based on first and second. Um, so I know there's a few things in here where they say if you if you watch a cup game, the away team will generally win or always win. Something like that. I've seen a bit of a trend. I've seen it on Twitter. I can't remember who mentioned it. I think it was Nikolai maybe mentioned it. Um, and it does seem to ring a bell. If you're involved in it, it maybe doesn't always go that way. But if an AI is involved, you can look at it and go, well, the away team probably going to win. So is it a case of the fixtures have all been sided and we know... We're going to be finishing first or second. Presumably, five million being a round number is the prize for top. As it decided, we're going to be top. I don't know. Or do the top two because it's automatic promotion just have the same prize money? Let me know in the comments below if you've got any answer on that. I'm sure. Hopefully, if Dave's watching, he might have a, an insight into that because I'd love to know. Um, because I, it felt a bit presumptuous with three games to go to give me to give me the season's prize money, uh, which I think it has gone in the bank uh, potentially. Yeah, I think so. Um, profit wiki because we're still close to 5 million in profit when we haven't been all season we've still got 12 million in the bank so it's a pretty decent uh, balance there but we're going to get into the fixtures now we're, we're ready now we've got Manchester City who are let's have a look where they are in the table I think they're decent 10th probably not going to have an assault if they beat us they could probably look at a playoff place but they need a lot of results to go their way who else have we got in this run I think we've got some Ipswich and Wimbledon. I think Ipswich maybe aren't doing quite so well. But obviously Wimbledon right there. Ipswich are... Yeah, they're not really playing for anything other than a bit of personal pride, really. The relegation spots are not determined yet either. Reading are gone. They've been long gone. Um, in fact, I think our win against them might have been the final now in the coffin. But to be honest, look at the numbers. I think it was way before that. I mean, they're just going to go away and try not to concede 100 goals this season. And Northampton probably similarly, but I don't think they will. But Reading could get thumped in the next three and easily go to 100. 
Wigan look like they're going back down. I think Northampton come up with us as well. But Bradford's still in the mix, even up to maybe Port Vale, possibly crew if things go a certain way, I think. But yeah, so one tough game, what one middling game, one what one middling game with a against a team with something to play for, one team against. Oh, of course we've got international duties in this game. That is unbelievable. Is Centurion back? Mm, not quite. Not quite. What do we do? Sahovic. So Centurion's going to come into the middle. Tomlinson. Tomlinson goes back to his out to his right-sided spot. Centurion in the middle. Sahovic. We have got Notman on the bench just in case he doesn't last. Uh, Centurion. But 82 should be enough. Yes, we've also got yeah the one middling game against someone with something to play for. A game with against a team with nothing really to play for other than pride, which you know they're probably on their holidays already. And obviously Wimbledon. Man City have been a bit of a mixed bag for us this season. We, they thumped us in the league, and I think we beat them in the cup. And obviously this is. Round three for the decider. Please don't be a red card. Oh my god. After 22 minutes, we've gone down to 10 men. Um, we're just going to kind of slip into a back three here. Um, just try and hold out, I guess. Oh, this is not the team to be going down to 10 men in 22 minutes. There we go. There's that thing I mentioned a few videos back. Red card. If we get a red card, tip always first half. The game a few weeks ago, 10 minutes, 22 minutes. But whenever we see an opposition get a red card, it's like 88 minutes. Who cares? But I think Patton has repeated. Eric Neverland has scored after the red card. Now, if the pattern consists again, they will equalise in a minute, <laughs> um, which I am more than expecting. As Tomlinson makes it 2-0. OK, we are showing we've showed a bit of a bottle job the last couple of weeks. But this this is bravery. This, this is determination. This is we want to win this title. I mean, we've done we've completed the challenge. We're getting promoted. This is now about damage, lim damage limitation in the point drop off for where we finish. But it's also we want to be champions. We've been we've been top for most of this season. We want to go out and finish finish top, finish champions. Do it the right way. Do it the real way. Wimbledon obviously are the same. They want to bounce back to the Premier League in style and come back top. But hopefully, so far so good. And we are going to take off um, Centurion. We're just going to give him a rest just so he's potentially in a bit better shape coming back. We're going to. I was going to take Neverland off, but I don't think I want to. And I don't trust Hickey in a game of this stature. We've still about 12 minutes to go. Because if they get a nice quick one now, you know, it's squeaky bum time. As we should... Oh, we're going to go down to nine men, aren't we? Oh, my God. Right, Heidenstrom's coming back down. Uh, Zahovic is coming back down. In fact, we're going to... In fact, we're going to go to a back four. <laughs> we're going to drop everyone back. Everyone back. Everyone back. And Curtis can go as a sweeper. Iketi back, Heidenstrom back, and we'll just leave Neverland up there on his own. Hopefully, not enough time for them to do any damage, and there's nothing happened. So the tactic worked. We'll take we'll take the praise for that and take credit for that. But we're gonna have some players back. Mar Ryan's gonna be back. He was actually the only one we were really missing for that game. Sigurdsson's not in the starting eleven. Um, Levan, the George George isn't in the starting eleven at the moment. He he's not cemented a place down. So. If he had a bit more time, maybe he could have done, or if the injuries had persisted a bit longer, he might have got a chance and done something. But when I did play him, he hadn't quite worked his way into the team, hadn't quite found his place or found his form. Um, possibly he needs to play in a two up front rather than in behind, but it's probably his position. But we're going to come back, going to skip ahead, and we're going to come back for Ipswich. See you shortly. Okay, um, two things. I forgot to show you the league and how Wimbledon got on. Obviously, while it was loading, we decided to skip ahead. So we'll come to that in a minute. I didn't actually see the score because I pressed done. So it'll be a surprise to me. But this has popped up. Centurion's going to be out for four months. So there we were saying, and he's a he's a key cog in how we play. He gets so many assists. He pops up with goals. That is not good. We've got Zahovic. Hopefully we can pop in. We've got Levan now. We've got Mole Ryan coming back in. So hopefully we don't get affected too badly. But... It's not nice. Levan's obviously injured as well, so he's not really fully fit, so he's not necessarily an option. Uh, as Man City beat Wolves, let's have a look. How did Wimbledon do? They dropped points. They drew. Looks like they drew. Did they draw their last game? They did. They drew against Sheffield United. I think we thumped. Oh, they went down to 10 men, but 77 minutes. There we go. Who got the goals? David White and Darren Purse. 
Wow, okay, Sheffield United doing us a favour. What does that do with the table? Yeah, two points. I, I actually just looked at the table. I don't know why I said it like that, all surprised. But um, anyway, back to the next game. See you shortly. Okay, here we are, we're back. And yes, yeah, so Centurion's out, which we know about. In fact, we're just gonna skip to the game. So we've got Ipswich in 15th. We've got a few issues here. So we've got Lichetti is suspended as well. So we're gonna pop in, who do we pop in? I think we're gonna go with Chris Coleman, I think. Lichetti has been absolutely amazing for us this season. Um, Mole Ryan is back, so he's gonna pop in there. Zahovic can go in the middle. Tomlinson can stay on the right. We will keep Notman on the bench over Twiss, um, and up front we stay the same. Uh, the manager and just came up, we didn't get it, unfortunately. Mark Hately did in Division 2 for Hull, he's obviously now manager, he's manager isn't he, because his player, his player retired because we looked at get, maybe bringing him in. But we are in serious, serious times now for this season. Can we, obviously we're going to have Brevet potentially suspended and McInesby potentially suspended. I don't know if that's going to maybe come into play next season, so it's not going to necessarily be my problem. Um, oh, okay. We're still nil-nil. So we Oh, no. We're 1-0 <laughs> down after 25 minutes. A little bit against the run of play. Not too much has happened. But what we have seen has pretty much been in our favour. And it still is. But we're just not able to break them down just yet. Oh, Coleman makes a mistake and gives them a 2-0 lead. And this has just opened everything right up. If Wimbledon win their game... They are going top into the decider in the final game of the season. I mean, I couldn't have wrote this in my best in my best wishes. You know, it makes for a great episode and a great, great sort of finale to the to the season. But to be honest, I'd have rather have won it ten games back, five games back, and be you know, be on a hundred points odd and clear. But unfortunately, that hasn't worked out this season. We are. Well, it looks like well, unless Wimbledon lose as well. I mean, even if they lose, I think it still goes down to the last game of the season. I think whatever happens, if we win, if we were to win here and they'd lost, maybe not. That's the only way, I think. But we're obviously not going to win here. We're not even going to score. We are missing Centurion. And at the back, we're obviously missing Lachetti as well. What a turg turgid performance. I mean, I don't even know what other way to describe that. That was just woeful. I mean, they weren't even playing well, particularly. David Johnson got two goals and got an eight. Lee Ashcroft got an eight. Everyone else kind of got, okay, average is a couple of sevens. That's not bad, but a lot of sixes, even a five. I mean, the goalkeeper didn't have to do much of that probably. But we got uh, a lot of sixes, to be fair. I mean, how Coleman got a six, I do not know. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's me saying I didn't know if I wanted to sell him. I'm glad I did put him on the list, but no one came in. No one wanted to pay the extra couple of K that I asked for. Um, we're still top. Wimbledon, Wimbledon drew. Still a point in it. Going into the last game of the season. Who's at home? Oh, it's at Sellhurst. It's at Sellhurst Park. Oh, my God. So, Coleman. Uh, do we bring Stensas? No. Brevitt's... Okay, Brevitt's performance has dropped, to be fair. I'm going to bring Stensas back in. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that at one point. I did bring Brevitt and McInesby back in. So, we've got Clegg. He wasn't doing great. So, we put McInesby back in because he's playing quite well. And we we also put Brevitt back in because his performances were better than Stensas's. Stensas's were kind of going down, but Brevitt's were still quite high. But something's obviously happened in the meantime and they've they've dropped back down. Uh, let's see. Well, we know he's out. I don't even know where I'm looking. Zahovic. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can do to the team. Doesn't look like it. So we'll be back for that Wimbledon game. We'll be back for the penultimate one. See you. See you then.
Okay, here we are. The big one. If I remember to do it and I can find something appropriate, I'm going to put a little segment in before this. Some sort of Sky Sports segment or something. Not sure what one. But I almost don't want to press done. I almost don't want to start. <laughs> oh, right. The team's set up. We set it up before. I think we just, we're just just going to go out and go for it. What will be, will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Tomlinson has an early chance, but we're not able to take it. Please just don't be one of those games where we have loads and loads of shots, score none, and they score from their two shots or something. Okay, so far not, that's not the case because Arenze's come to our rescue and made a great save. But, oh, Stensars, don't be giving them. He, he likes to get a yellow to Stensars. He has a lot of disciplinary points when he plays. <sighs> it's very tense. Come on. Just get that first goal. Don't be giving away free kicks and getting yellow cards. I mean, it's nearly the second half, so the red card probably isn't going to be likely. Because, they, like I say, they like to come in the first half for us. Oh, they're starting to get a bit of a foothold in the game here. Which can only mean one thing. They're going to score right before half-time, doesn't it? It's going to give us a tough team talk. No, we have the last chance of the first half, but no dice. I mean, look at that. I mean, do we... Nevlin's having a stinker, but can you take someone with those sort of stats off? I don't know if we can. I'm not going to yet. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. I'm going to have a chance to buck his ideas up. But I might even have to chuck a second striker on. So I don't want to take him off. Oh, come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Oh, he's had another chance. Come on. Got to take one of these, boy. 20 minutes to go. I mean, do we... Sp I mean, at the moment, we're winning. We're winning the league. Oh, why did I have to go and say that? We've got to go for it. I wasn't going to go for it because we didn't need to. We... We were winning. Right, who do we take off? I think we're going to stick Tomlinson up front because he can play there. We're going to take... We've got to go for it really, haven't we? Um, Bacero's going to come off for Conroy. He's going to go up there. We're going to have the two behind. Drop down. We're going to go a bit more attacking with the fullbacks. Alex Notman kind of needs to come on as well, doesn't he? Um, Zahovic, he's booked and he's playing... a bit of a stinker really let's just go for it can we grab one oh don't foul don't give them free kicks don't give them a chance we're gonna bottle it aren't we right there right on the last day of the season oh this is dreadful oh all we need is an equalizer oh my god neil sullivan comes to the rescue for wimbledon oh lucchetti oh my god we really ra rallied that look at that we you say we don't deserve a draw out of that game. That is absurd. But we've bottled it. Joe Kinnear has done it. The mind games. We've done our Keegan rant. Joe Kinnear. Uh, he, he, out, he outfoxed us in the in the media. We fell for it. We, we fell right into his trap. We lured right in. Oh, I want to have a look at the league table. because I can't remember if this game does show it. Your progress through the season. Because I think we've been top for... A hell of a long time in this season. Does it show it? Is there a way? Oh, look at that. Two points off in the end. That is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. And we could have hit 100 points as well. Which would have been... So we get... Oh my god. 575k. Oh, hang on. So we get 5 million for securing promotion. Ah, oh, is that what that was? Okay, ignore those comments. 5 million for getting promotion. But then there's an extra bonus for your your position so we would have got maybe a million or 750k for finishing first maybe i'm not too sure so i assume wimbledon get that money for getting promoted as well maybe whoever gets in the playoffs gets a similar kind of payoff as well but let's have a look at the english division is there a team no that's team form and we're looking at the premier division we don't want premier division team form that's not what we want club attendance i mean we're way down on that way down on that uh league table does it show I think in one of the later ones you can see no you can see like the little graph that shows i'm sure there is a way and i'm probably just completely missing it uh i'll have a look in the league table but uh, we'll have a look at this so top goal scorers eric neverland far and away out in front of bruce dyke crystal palace a few others playing I'll, I'll leave that there just so you can have a quick look but um in terms of our challenges so i'm going to pop that on the on the screen now. in fact you know what, i'll quickly have a look in the team and see if that league 
position thing is in here. I'm sure I've seen it. View tables, no. No, it may be, maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's not on this version of the game. I can't remember. But in terms of challenges, I'm popping the challenges on the screen now. So main name, finish the season as a top level club. We're going to do that. This can be any of the following means. Being offered and accepting a Premier League job. Okay, we're not doing that or foreign. Being promoted with Fulham or another club. So we've been promoted, so we get 60 points for that. Uh, then we get deducted our total number of league losses. So that will be um, seven off of that. It would have been six if we'd have done what we needed to do, but we got seven. Um, then we'll be deducted your final league position in the league ladder. So we will be 22 off of that as well. Um, transfers, no restrictions. Manager of the month plus 10. How did we do on manager of the month's? Um, I don't know how many we actually got. Division one. Um, I can't remember how you find that. Oh, what's going on? Monthly awards. There we go. English League Division one. So we got one, two, three. We got three. Okay, so plus ten, thirty for that. Reached the quarterfinal of any cup. We did that once, so we get plus twenty. And if, mm, so, so, okay, the England player. So there's no penalty for not getting it. Okay, that's good. But we just don't get the bonus for doing it. Um, so there's not a penalty, I'm guessing, because it's quite a tough thing to actually achieve with Fulham in the second season. Reputation still quite low in terms of our, in fact, I'll look at that in the next video. Um, so there we are. That's the end of the season. So we're going to come back. F I'll, I'll add the score up as well. I'll put that on the, um, on the, on the, uh, wall on the picture at the end there um so you can see what my score was i'll have done that already in the edit so you'll have seen it already um we'll come back for the next video the next video will be the season recap where we look at you know everything around the world what's happening in 1999 who's winning what who's doing what um i'll have to forward through a little bit and i do know what the next challenge is so i need to be careful with going too far in so i'll that'll come into the next video i'll explain what season three has in store for us and uh, if you like start the video, if you're new around here, please drop a like on the video, drop a sub to the channel just to keep, you know, seeing all, all the episodes as they come out. Um, we're planning for Saturday and Sunday at five o'clock every day, and I'm occasionally chucking the extra Wednesday one in. I am getting quite far ahead, so I am probably am going to drop a Wednesday in or a Tuesday and Thursday in if I'm feeling extra generous. Um, I was feeling generous yesterday when I released the last, I, I uploaded the last one on a Wednesday. I had a good run. I got back in after feeling a bit rough. I am feeling a bit rough again today. My throat is, and voice is starting to wear away. But hopefully that, that disappears and we get back on track soon. But um, until next time, for that extra bonus episode, I will see you later. Take care.